right? So back then, they, they weren't Catholic, correct? Yeah. So it, it was when the conquistadors came over that they kind of just, you know, implemented that on our people, you know what I'm saying? And they started, uh, you know, worshiping the, the, the teachings of what they were. They more or less destroyed what we had as a belief system, and they burnt all our books. Are you familiar with that history at all? No, but I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, so our people, we, we, we were more or less um, beaten into that understanding, you know? And for the most part, nowadays, we look at it like, oh, yeah, you know, we're not whooping them some more. You know, we're not subject to that to that mistreatment. Um, but we, if we look at how our people were treated to come into that belief system, you know, there was murders, there was rapes, there was the mistreatment of the, the children and whatnot. I mean, even right now, you know, with the with the Catholic uh, priest, you know, a lot of them being accused of, of doing inappropriate things and whatnot. Some of them still hold their positions, which is, you know, whatever, just going out for them to have that, you know, it is, that is that, that's what it is. So what we're doing is just trying to get people to understand the truth of God's word and how it should be uh, understood and, and practiced according to the Bible. Do you read the Bible often? I used to go to like Sunday school. Okay. Yeah, besides all that. Do you remember a lot of what you were saying? Yeah, yeah, you know. Probably gave you a, a good moral compass of what's right or wrong. Yeah, exactly. You know, because we have the laws of you know society that we follow. And my brother was uh, talking to someone else earlier about you know where did society establish or get those laws from? A lot of people don't know that they actually came from the Bible. But like, you know, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. Uh, but you know, there's actually more laws uh, in the Bible than just the Ten Commandments that we're familiar with. Um, so I just want to share a couple of verses. If we could uh, in Deuteronomy uh, with the curses, uh, because in Deuteronomy, it, it, uh, you know who Moses was. So God talked to Moses and told him, hey, bring the word to my people. So God does have a chosen people uh, who we acknowledge today from our understanding as the so-called Hispanics, the so-called uh, Af African-American black people, or the so-called native indigenous people. Um, but so in Deuteronomy, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, starting at verse 15. You know? And it reads, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And so, and so just kind of right there, he said, Moses was telling the people, the Israelites, he said, if you don't hearken, if you don't hear, if you don't listen to the law, statutes, and commandments that I'm giving you from God, you know, these, these curses will fall upon you. So just to kind of fast forward from then till now, if we look at the condition of the so-called black, the so-called Hispanics, and the so-called native indigenous people, would, would you kind of attribute their way of living as a curse, as opposed to maybe other nations who have what might be considered a, a better way of living. 100%. Yeah, because you know, when, when you look at the Hispanic, you know, we're in the barrios. When you look at our, 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 our uh, African American black brothers, they're, they're in what living conditions of the ghettos. But then if you look at our, our native indigenous peoples, you know, they're, they're in the reservations. They're on, yeah, all yeah. You know what I mean? So we're, we're ostracized. We're, exactly. We're yeah. ostracized <laughs> and separated right. and, and put into a downtrodden estate, you know, for a reason. You know, I didn't understand that reason when I was younger. You know what I mean? I was telling the other person, when I was young, when I stepped out onto the streets and I seen all my homies, we was all gang banging and, and, and we didn't like this color or that color or whatever side of the street you were from, you know, I was like, oh, this is it. This is what life is meant to be. So I accepted it yeah, and I indulged side. myself in it. So when I moved up here from California, when I moved up here, I didn't see those gangs. I didn't see my homies. And so I, I felt like I was free. I was like, oh, shoot. I could go to a concert and not trip. I could go to the bar and just talk to random people and, and have a good day. Or I can go to the lake and not, not police your tattoos. Where are you from? You know what I mean? And so I had uh, somewhat of a revelation of, you know what? The way I was brought up, the way I was living, that was right. But it was given to us as a curse. You know what I mean? And so now when I, when I moved here and established and I met these brothers, I see that there's a better way to live and there's a purpose to our life. That God gave us law statutes so that we wouldn't uh, suffer those curses. Because I mean, he brought me up out of the, the audio for a reason. You know, I didn't understand then or, or when I first got here, but when I met these brothers and I started reading the Bible, because I, I didn't believe in all that stuff that I was done. You know what I mean? Because I was like, oh, that's, that's a white people's book. 
you know, that, that's, that's for the rich people or whatnot. But now that I've actually read it and I understand it, uh, with the curses, that's basically what God was telling us, is saying, if you're not going to listen to me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to punish you. And these punishments are, you will go to the, to the, to the body, you will go to the ghetto. You will be in the uh, 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 This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 51, and verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God. And so, you know, like uh, what the brother was saying is, you know, our people are in the streets angry like bulls. You know what I mean? We're out there angry at our own people. You know what I mean? Because when I was out there, I was gangbanging on my own people. Yeah. I wasn't gangbanging in the suburbs saying, hey, you guys get out of these nice neighborhoods so me and my homies can move in. You know what I mean? And so that, that was kind of... Um, you know, that was uh, a way for us to know. Well, that, that's something that my brother was talking about earlier. Is the difference of what makes the Bible true is the things that it was saying and how they hold true today. You know, the prophecy and so like that was letting us know the kind of conditions that we would be in and, and how we would be like angry bulls on the street, you know, watching our people fall and, and thinking that was normal or, or even worse, acceptable. You know what I mean? Yeah, just to elaborate on that point a little further. This is Isaiah chapter 42, starting at verse 22. For this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none delivereth. For a spoil and none saith restore. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil? in Israel to the robbers did not the Lord he against whom we have sinned for they would not walk in his ways neither were they obedient unto his laws and, and so there was one key word in that precept that was repeated more uh, often than not and so that word is the spoil like in the English language we know sometimes a word could have multiple meanings like if I say hey I'm gonna go spoil my son Someone might interpret that as, oh, I'm going to take him to movies, going to go buy him a, a favorite video game, go buy him some comic books. But what this precept is talking about is that other kind of spoil. You know what the other kind of spoil is? So, like, if we let the milk sit in the sun too long, it spoils. You know what I mean? Like, when milk is cold, it's good. But if we let that sit in the sun and it curdles, it gets stinky, it gets nasty. So that's the kind of spoil that precept was talking about. And that's what it's talking about is these other nations and uh, the Most High has led us be like that milk and get spoiled, you know what I mean? Because we've gone to a, uh, 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 not so good way of living, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, brother. John, just elaborate on this point now that he's saying, right on, right on, right on the point. This is Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy in vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Um, and so, you know, the bank, the spur of philosophy, you know, we look at society today. A lot of things that they tell us, they're like, oh, it's okay to, to be a transgender. It's okay to be, you know, this or that. And that's their philosophy because they think if they tell us it's okay, then everybody will be in the But the Word of God said, don't be spoiled by that philosophy. Right. Don't go uh, bad just because they say it's good. Go back to what I said, what the Bible is saying. That is good. That's right. right. Being obedient to the high, that is good. Because like what I was saying with the curses, is because we stopped obeying and stopped hearkening to what God was saying, that's how we ended up in those way. That's why, you know, the Native American indigenous people, when they were here living in peace and harmony, then all of a sudden the colonizers came over, wiped them out, and then they think, well, you know, why did our creator let this happen? It was because they got away from what he taught them to do. And he said, I got to send this, this punishment over here to teach you to come back to me. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, some of our people, they find themselves deeper in the bottle. They find themselves deeper in drugs. And that's part of the You know what I mean? So that's why I feel like it's our mission to wake up our people and say, go back to the lost name of the to the Bible. Because we want to get back to that uh, righteous uh, estate that the God promised us you know, to be in. Because he told us that we were a special people on today. But because we started doing our own thing, that's why we started suffering these curses, right? right. Um, did you, did you yeah, yeah, like we so we just we just hit the streets, yeah. And so on that flyer is our YouTube channel. Okay. So if you want to subscribe to it or if you want to watch the video and leave a comment, um, there's our phone numbers and emails. So if you want to reach, are you from here in Spokane or live here now? 
Okay, awesome, man. Yeah, so we're, we're always out here. Um, but yeah, we do Bible studies online. We get together for high holy days. Because that's another thing, you know, most of our people celebrate Christmas. Most of our people celebrate Easter. But the Bible doesn't tell us to celebrate Easter. Right? Uh, that's another uh, spoiled philosophy of this world. Because the stores, they benefit from that. You know what I mean? But the most high says, as long as you continue to celebrate that stuff, I'm going to keep punishing you. So that's why it's like, I don't celebrate any of that. I only celebrate what's in the Bible. And there's plenty of things that the Bible teaches us to celebrate, so it doesn't feel like we're always left out. There's nothing that says we can't get together, play music, have a good time, barbecue, do some, do some uh, dominoes, volleyball, softball, whatever. But it's when we start uh, giving, giving our into the other belief systems that mess us up. Exactly. Um, what was your name again? Darian. Darian. Okay, it's Lockett, man. My name is Lockett. Um, but yeah, man, if you have any questions, get a hold of us. We're always here. We just want to get our people back to that righteous estate by getting back into the Bible. So if I can encourage you to continue reading the Bible and let the Most High uh, dwell in you and your spirit to understand the words that you're reading, and then live them out. You know? so we're, we're trying to get together just so that we don't feel alone. And, and you know, it's as simple as that, man. You know? but, but thank you for listening. We appreciate you. And I'll uh, excuse you real fast. Do you have a Bible? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, because I can do one. Right I'll take one. Okay. Can we leave you with one last scripture, brother? Yeah. Okay, so, and, and, and like the brother said, we come out every single week. We've been doing this for years. We come out on the Sabbath day, which is, we believe is Saturday according to the scriptures. Sabbath goes in, 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 in Spanish, right? So we, we, we keep the Sabbath day as it is written. Uh, but we also come together for high holy days where we, we do the feast days, as, as it says in the, in the Bible, Leviticus 23, Exodus 12, and various other precepts. And I, as the brother uh, illustrated, we host live classes as well. But back tomorrow night, Lord willing, we have a class. That we're going to do. But uh, I'm going to leave you with Second Chronicles chapter 7 and 14. This is one of my favorite scriptures. If my people, that's you, brother, you one of God's people. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, meaning you have to start keeping God's laws, right? Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So our our resolve or our solution to all our problems has always been and always will be the word of God. Brother. All right, brothers? You as well, Darren. Come fellowship with us. All right.